Okay, so just a real quick video on uh, working with sheet metal. So uh, I thought it was kind of worth pointing out that a lot of the time people think you need a really heavy duty uh, guillotine or lots of fancy tools to work with metal. Um, I get a huge amount of stuff done just with basically a, a, a good pair of scissors. These are like about six, seven quid, but they're just solid quality. You can even unscrew these, take the blades out and resharpen them if you're horrified by the idea of cutting metal with scissors. But this is 0.5 aluminium. And as you can see, I mean, it's requiring a little bit of strength, but I'm not straining at it whilst doing it. And of course, for smaller pieces, it's just really no effort. And of course, even though you get a little bit of curl when cutting it, we're talking aluminium, so you just literally press it back into place. So it's, it's really no bother at all. Um, this would have very little chance against working on galvanized steel. It really steps up a huge amount. So uh, a good quality pair of tin snips um, will also allow you to, to sort of basically cut straight. However, if you notice, you can see here, there's actually like little tiny teeth that basically mean I can't cut like scissors. It doesn't allow the shears to slide very easily. So I really have to twist to try and put a curl into it. And it's not easy. It's fair to say this also leaves it really sharp, so just be careful with that. But you can get down to, to quite a high amount of detail all the way through the snips, and they, they really are super efficient, hardly requiring any force at all. So you can get a lot of stuff done with that and simply just bending, hammering over uh, formers, 90 degree things, or even just putting it in a vise and bending it. So the next one is, this is 1.2 millimeter galvanized steel. These things are, are absolute genius in that uh, I came across these because I was needing to just trim off a little bit of excess material um, and at the time I didn't have a grinder. So these are these are basically like $15, 12 pounds. Um, I, I think they're absolutely incredible value for getting you out of a pinch. And so the way they work is that there's this, you know, mechanical leverage there and it's putting a huge amount of force at the end. And so what it does is it nibbles quite literally, as it says, it just takes little tiny bites and it is requiring more force, but it's not actually a problem. And so as you can see there, it's basically just started to nibble out a little curl. You can see it's pretty clean. There's not a lot of mess there. So I'll just come in from the other side, take that out. And as you can see, you obviously need to tidy this up, uh, have a set of pliers ready to sort of wiggle out all these excess bits. But I think it's actually quite remarkable that you're cutting through very industrial stuff uh, with a hand tool, um, which costs almost nothing compared to all the big air pressure tools or having to use a bandsaw, all that sort of stuff, etc. So I think if you're, you're a student or you're just wanting to do some sort of hobbyist stuff at the weekend, these are absolutely fantastic. And I'd say the only trick, which I'm not gonna show here, is just don't forget drilling a hole and then using a needle file to put that into a square or anything else like that, I think is a sort of overlooked trick as you can get a lot done just by doing that. So hope that's useful and uh, please add any comments below. Thanks.